continues to develop technology for space travel, we're getting closer to understanding some of the secrets of our mysterious neighbor Mars. What can the red planet tell us about the past and the future of Earth? With the current technology available, it will take us about seven months to get to Mars. Its natural environment is actually very similar to Earth's. Whether robots or humans land on it, they can easily adapt to Mars's conditions. The fascinating thing was Earth was very volcanic and very hot, and it could not have su supported life. But Mars, in contrast, had a lot of water, which meant that there was like an Earth-like condition on Mars. The, like the present Earth-like condition. There were catastrophic floods, there were rivers, there were oceans. Um, and so today, if you ask me, I think there's a much greater possibility of finding life on Mars. Former director of Beijing's Palace Museum has spoken about how curiosity for space has been a passion for many throughout China's history. Ancient Chinese people made extraordinary achievements in astronomy and in science and technology. The curiosity for space runs through the veins of Chinese traditional culture. The ancient observatory of Beijing has been used for astronomical observation for nearly 500 years. Not only is it a symbol of ancient China's achievements in astronomy, it is also a historical relic of the cultural communications between East and West. Welcome to the Science Museum And in Dr. London. Julia Knights joins the conversation from the Science Museum in London, where she gave her input on China's contributions towards space exploration. China National Space Administration's Moon and Mars exploration projects in the past few years have opened up more possibilities. We will always endeavor to tell a global story to our international audience. In our China Lates Evening event, we shone a spotlight on the scientific side of China, and our audience was super impressed by China's space achievements. Guest speakers also include two iconic female astronauts, China's Wang Yaping, member of the Shenzhou 13 crew, and Naoko Yamazaki, former astronaut of Japan's Aerospace Exploration Agency. Space exploration is such a romantic and tremendous undertaking. I'm very honored to have chosen this career and to become the person closest to stars. Space exploration sheds light into our life, and I hope every woman can gaze into a starry sky of her own. While I was trained, I gave a birth to my first child, and I had 11 years of training before going to space. However, I did not think of giving up my career. For space program, it's a wide teamwork, and I was honored to be a part of it. A Chinese and Italian science fiction writer also discussed how human imagination is making meaningful impact on exploration and understanding of the cosmos. I have found a connection between making sci-fi movies and China's endeavors in space exploration. That is to combine reality with a world of imagination and to weave the most realistic details with the wildest dreams together. We look at Mars as a potential second chance, a place to recover from the mistakes we did on Earth. But hopefully, the next golden age of space exploration will not be driven only by commercial rules and billionaires. The special program is presented by the News Center of China National Space Administration, CGTN Think Tank, National Communication Center for Science and Technology, and Wenchang International Aerospace City. To watch the premiere of the full one-hour special, catch it at CGTN.com on Sunday GMT at 12 p.m. It is also available on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Weibo.